Welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric server. Today, we're welcoming a new subscriber. Ace of Spiders has subscribed to the channel, bringing our subscriber count to a whopping 114 subscribers. Awesome! Uh, and today, I have something to show you because. The latest NVIDIA drivers I record with uh, NVIDIA's Shadow Play feature. If you're, uh, if you, you're unaware, uh, these drivers were actually randomly corrupting my uh, jack o' lantern, randomly corrupting my uh, my recordings, and I ended up losing an episode. And, and uh, why is this extended? Why are you extended? I ask. You are not being powered. Did this bud power the thing somehow? It can't have. That one retracted and it's just the same. Okay, whatever. Um, it it co randomly corrupts recordings, so I had to roll back and I lost an entire episode and then the server was down and then I couldn't record uh, another day and I am so... I am just so behind schedule. Anyway, I did this. Uh, and this is a pumpkin and melon farm, which is going to be very helpful uh, to get stuff to trade with our future villagers if that bug ever gets fixed. Uh, so now all we have to do is ensure that, uh, uh, well, a couple of things. First, that everything is lit, and while we don't actually start with the trading, I'm just going to put these jack o' lanterns here because I don't have enough. Well, I have enough glowstone, but I'm. Oh no. But I. Uh, I don't. I don't want to use it up. Uh, crap! Get me out of here. Uh, I, I, by now, whoa, whoa! By now, I'm sure you realized. No, I'm sure you you realized how this thing works. Uh, water pushes everything to the middle. Pushes pushes everything there, uh, and then I want a a stream that takes the items uh, up to maybe here-ish, and then uh, lifts them up. So we're gonna use a, an item elevator for that, and stores them where we need. Are you freaking kidding me? I asks. And it is raining, and I can't go up this thing. Hold on, hold on, maybe I can... Yes! Okay, we're low on some resources anyway, so we might, we might as well get a, a little exploration going. Ugh. Okay, screw that. Get a little exploration going. Wow, that took me far. And I am almost dead already. Awesome. Off to an, a wonderful start. Whoa. I also want some... Die. I also want some... Um, some other stuff. Uh, like diorite. Uh, we're gonna want some diorite. Because I am going to use a lot of diorite to cover up the um, uh, that farm there. Uh, it's the it's the best thing. There is the second best thing, <laughs> other than quartz, <laughs> because I really want something white there to go with the futuristic uh, type, futuristic type deal. Uh, so that requires white stuff, and don't be a perv, please. And white stuff is hard to come by. No, no, no. So, well, it's not hard to come by, I just don't have any, because I started playing before 1.8 came out. And this is going up. Okay, so let's get the this show on the road. I know there is a ravine somewhere around here because I dug straight into it, but that was when I was digging the actual thing, and now I have to refine the refine it. Uh, I'm probably already lost and going completely the <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, so a couple of, of uh, actually pretty, pretty meh things happened. Uh, I my mouse actually got got pooped. Yeah, mouse poop. Uh, the uh, well, not completely, but the the left click button. It's like it lost the spring, so now it doesn't return to its original position. Which is a little bit of a problem. Um, so I'm actually playing with the mouse. But let's see if these guys are still retarded. No. Whoa. Ow. Hi. Come on, die. Uh, which is kind of a problem. So I... <laughs> I put in... Wow, all the creepers. Hey, you. Come on. Uh, I may be in trouble here. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's be cool about this. Let's be reasonable. <coughs> I forgot I'm not wear I'm not wearing diamond armor. <laughs> oh, boy. So, I put, I actually put a bit of paper, of uh, folded paper, uh, underneath the button so that it, it kind of gets st uh, springs back. <laughs> I know it's a v it's a very poor substitute, but what the hell was I supposed to do? And this actually kind of peeved me off because my girlfriend bought me the this mouse, and uh, it was a, a few months ago, and now it's just broken, and I don't have the neither does she the the receipt for it or. Uh, I lost it. I I usually save these things, but uh, now I lost it, and yeah, it's kind of kind of a uh, bummer. I I recently <laughs> I was recently uh, challenged, sort of challenged, to to show a picture of myself when I was a little boy, uh, and uh, I found one. That was so ancient. Uh, I'm gonna try to put it up if I re-find it, or, or if I find the the um, scanned version uh, of it, <laughs> uh, the digital version of it. It was so ancient, and that uh, picture was of my first kiss. Yes, I had my first kiss at about age three. <laughs> It was with, oh dear lord, we have to go up. At about age three, it was with, I, I still, uh, we're still friends, we're, we're still great friends, she, she's practically a family. Uh, <coughs> uh, she and her mother, I, I, uh, just so you uh, see what kind of, what kind of a uh, relationship it is between our families, I thought that the mother of the girl I, I kissed, uh, I thought uh, her mother was my my aunt <laughs> on my mother's side. I thought she was my mother's sister until I was about I don't know like fifteen or something. <laughs> it was really, I, I uh, we're really close. That that's what, what I'm trying to say. Uh, so when we were whoa, this must be the ravine. If there's a mine shaft around, it is that ravine. Let's see. Uh, so they they were trying to take a picture of us, of the two of us. I think we were at a wedding, and <laughs> uh, we were both dressed, all dressed up. She was a, in a, a little dress. I, I think I was wearing uh, like a, a blazer uh, for for little kids, uh, which is just about the douchebaggiest thing you you can do. I uh, please. Don't do that to your kids. It's it's just horrible. Uh, and uh, they were taking our picture, and we were both together. And from what they tell me, uh, I just up and uh, grabbed her and kissed her, kissed her like uh, like in the movies. <laughs> and uh, and they they caught it on camera, on on actual film. <laughs> And that picture has been in the family ever since, <laughs> and it is so freaking awesome. I hope I can, 
I can show you the the thing. Okay, uh, more stuff. I've been having loads and loads of fun with uh, uh, learning. Uh, you scared me, bad. Learning to to code using JavaScript uh, uh, through that uh, website, uh, uh, Code Academy. Code Academy. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Uh, Code Academy. Yeah. They, they teach. Uh, it has a a very cool lesson on how to uh, how to use and co how to code using JavaScript, and it is I whoa 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 Where, how what the hell okay hey can you give me a record dude please no go away no don't blow up damn it. And die. Eh. Uh, using uh, using JavaScript, it it is very very fun. I am very addicted to it, uh, and uh, uh, and I'm starting to to wonder if I want to try to do more stuff w with it. Uh, well, not with it as. As I learned, you can't really do a lot of stuff w with uh, with JavaScript or uh, a lot of um, well, you can't really make a, a game, for instance. Uh, but uh, Java itself, I'm still trying to understand how all of that works. I mean, learning the syntax is one thing, but understanding how how what is all this. <laughs> That's a whole other issue entirely. Oh, 13. Okay. A gold horse armor and a saddle. I want the saddle. I think I'm going to keep the horse armor too. Uh, but but if I manage to squeeze it, squeeze in uh, a few hours a, a week at least of uh, coding practice, I am going to uh, to play around with it quite a bit more. Hmm. They're above me. Oh, there you go. Ah, come here, dude. Seriously, die. Uh, I am going to play around with it quite a bit more because I I am really interested in seeing what I what I can do. I would really like. Oh, we're at the Mesa biome. So it's back. <laughs> we are way off. Uh, why can I? Oh, 64 spider. I go. Uh, I would really like to try and code an an economy simulator. Uh, so getting a few variables to to get um, to get an output close to what real countries have. That would be very awesome, and uh, I hope that within a, a couple of years uh, I'll be, I'll have what it takes to to make such a thing. It would be a very interesting project, uh, and uh, it would it would mean I don't, I I don't have only YouTube outside of work. It would also mean another thing, which I think is very important, which is. Oh dear lord. Which is underst knowing how to code. Uh, because there are uh, I've seen that there's a couple of countries, I, I don't know, maybe Norway, Sweden, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that um, that are actually either starting or have already started putting uh, code uh, software coding in their primary school curriculum, or at least secondary school, uh, which makes sense. It's not about that. It's because I think that I'm 28. If I reach, let's say, 55, 55 or 60, and I have no idea, absolutely zilch idea, uh, about how to code, I think I, I am going to be as as far from uh, from reality as the 
the older people today who who can't use the internet, for instance, or a computer. Maybe not as bad uh, as people who can't use a computer, but uh, probably as bad as people who can't use the internet. Uh, so I, I think that we as a generation, <laughs> or as a, a set of generations, uh, really do have to pay attention to to the evolution the, that's, uh, that's happening and uh, start thinking about adapting <laughs> because it might it might mean well it might mean that we get we have more quality of life better quality of life but it might also mean better jobs for us uh, and uh, other stuff who knows <laughs> who knows uh, so yeah th these were the topics uh, that I wanted to discuss and I took the opportunity uh, of caving, which we turned out with a name tag, a saddle, and a gold horse armor. And nine lapis, yes! Well, as one would expect, we are completely out of time, because I lose track of time. Uh, however, I am going to show you that I did this, so this is now going to send two pulses. I'm not sure if it's gonna, if it's gonna do the trick. Because if it's this thing that's butt powering that piston, it doesn't matter if we send two pulses because the second pulse is gonna butt power it anyway, and then there's not gonna be a third pulse. Uh, so yeah, uh, I might actually have to try, have to think of another way of doing this. I might be able to do it like it's kind of uglier, but getting the redstone to go like this. But this might actually butt power it too. So I'm going to give this a shot. And if it works, it worked. And I can't show you what I'm going to do for the shell. That would will be for the next episode. But all I, I can say is that I am going to work all night on this today. Tonight. And next episode, you are in for an awesome surprise. I hope. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.